If someone at the start of the year told me that that is what my winning percentage would be after four rounds this year, I would have told that person I'll take it. Round five of the NRL's 2021 season starts on Thursday as South Sydney host Brisbane Broncos. South Sydney by 13 plus. Friday Night Footy features two contests. The first is from Central Coast Stadium in Gosford as the Warriors host the Sea Eagles. This is the first of five grand final rivalry matches and the Sea Eagles are definitely the Warriors bogey team. The Warriors picked up their first win against Manly in Lotto Land for the first time since 2009, only last year. The seesaw is definitely way out of whack as far as this matchup goes, but based on form alone, I'm going to tip the Warriors 1-12. to I think it'll be close. Game 2 on Friday night is the match of the round. Panthers versus Raiders. I was there at the doubleheader in Cogra last Saturday and there is just such a disciplined intensity. There is a presence to the Canberra Raiders. Uh, and as much as I really do like Canberra, how can you tip against Penrith at the moment, especially when they're playing at Blue Bet Stadium? Uh, I'm going to tip Panthers 1-12. to This should be such a cool game of footy. I can't wait to see it. Super Saturday features three contests. Game 1 is Titans versus Knights from the Gold Coast. Here's a stat that goes against Newcastle Knights. Newcastle have travelled to Queensland 24 times since 2010. They have come away seven occasions with the victory. The last time they won in Queensland was against the Bulldogs in Brisbane, which was a part of the NRL's Magic Round. The last time they beat a Queensland side in Queensland was in 2015 when they beat the Cowboys up at the old Dairy Farmers Stadium. The last time they beat the Titans on the Gold Coast was way back in 2013. And when you factor in all the injuries that Newcastle have got. Whilst the Titans last week went down, they went down honorably against the Canberra Raiders. Yeah, I'm going to be tipping the Titans uh, by 13 plus. Game two on Super Saturday emanates from Stadium Australia where the Bulldogs host the Melbourne Storm. Melbourne Storm by 13 plus. And then Super Saturday concludes from the SCG where Easts host Cronulla. Cronulla are really fighting for their coach. They're playing for their coach. They are doing a lot better than what I thought they would be this year. Uh, they're smooth and they're such a dedicated unit, uh, but they're gonna come up against the Sydney Roosters and I discredited their championship attributes and skills last week where I tipped the Warriors to get the upset against them. And that obviously didn't come to fruition. And Sam Walker, I don't think he was as dazzling as what the media are pumping him up uh, to be. But he was solid. He was subtle. And uh, there were no complaints. And there was just positive overall uh, reactions from his performance. So that's definitely a performance that he can look back on and say, that was, that was a good debut. It was a good debut. And I'm going to tip the Sydney Roosters to win 1-12. to I think this will be a cool game of footy as well. For the first time this year, there's Sunday afternoon footy coming to us from Leichhardt Oval where the West Tigers host the North Queensland Cowboys. The West Tigers have been completing at over 85% for the past two weeks and while Madge McGuire seems to have them going in the right direction, the West Tigers have shown these moments over the past few years. And it is now seriously time for the Tigers to dedicate the effort to consistency for sure. Because if they come out this Sunday and have a drop-a-thon, uh, which is predicted to be uh, a, a sunny 22 degree day at Leichhardt, it's like one step forward, two steps back sort of thing. Speaking of which... I am so pissed off.
This clock is not telling me what the time is. This clock is counting down to not this Sunday. It's counting down to two Sundays time where the Cowboys go back home and they host the Bulldogs. Now, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, obviously, but that's Judgment Day. And after looking at the team list, we have Kyle Felt coming back. And we also have Jason Tamalolo coming back as well. So we do look stronger. It's going to be a sunny, crisp day. Hold on to that ball, boys. And speak up because I was there once again at Cogra for the doubleheader on Saturday. And you could hear a pin drop besides Josh Maguire. And on, on Moose, uh, I say... Uh, go go get them elsewhere, mate. Um, if the club's bringing you down that much, go get them elsewhere. Thank you for your services. I think you've been one of just a select few over the past couple of seasons that has shown any sort of leadership and or professionalism. Uh, and it's going to be such a shame to see you running around in a different jersey uh, by the end of the year, I'm sure. And here's a stat that goes against North Queensland. Since their inception in 1995, North Queensland have had 10 matches at Leichhardt Oval and the last time they won there was in the late 90s. They've won once there on 10 occasions. Cowboys. <laughs> if you get the win this week, awesome. If you don't, just put in the best effort that you've put in this year. And I'm tipping North Queensland to pip the Tigers. Uh, this Sunday at Leichhardt, uh, 1 to 12. And then next Sunday, it's on. And round five finishes in Bankwest Stadium with Parramatta Eels host the St. George Illawarra Dragons. Parramatta Eels are winning in different ways so far this season. Uh, they had West Tigers, an uh, unpredictable bottom tier team, come up and really challenge them. I, I like their upward trajectory. 100% and St. George Illawarra won a brutal, awesome contest on Easter, Easter Sunday for sure. But like other people are saying, uh, they need to get a big scalp to sort of uh, solidify themselves. Maybe that's too strong of a word, but I think you guys know what I mean. I'm going to tip Parramatta, but I think it'll be close. 1 to 12. Yeah, so uh, looking forward to the round of footy. Uh, a lot will be revealed for a couple of teams over the next two weeks by looking at the draw. Yeah, uh, looking forward to it. So again, thank you so much to everyone who has recently subscribed um, and just checked out my video, given it a crack. And uh, as always, go Cowboys.